Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, welcome everyone to this, our Sunday worship service. Um, the Women's Missionary Society will be doing um, the worship service for today. So we welcome each and every one in the sanctuary, on Facebook, and in Zoom. Let's give God a praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So good to see everybody. And at this time, we're going to call on the praise team to start us off with a few worship songs. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, church. Good morning from wherever you're tuning in to worship. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a great week. Nonetheless, if you didn't, guess, guess who got you through that week? And we are just here to honor him, to praise him, to worship him for all the good things he's done. Even when you don't even know it. He's got you covered, right? from but it's cold outside 
we just want to warm it up in here so if you feel if you're able to and you want to just get up and just praise the lord please welcome to do you're welcome to do so oh yes lord <laughs> we're just so grateful and thankful to be again in the house of the lord that we could just give him praise we just want to lift you up with praise lord we lift you up with our hearts and our voices and we just want to honor you because only you are worthy lord only you are worthy only you are wonderful you know when you <laughs> when you're going through something and you think you can call your friends yeah you can call them and they will just talk unless you have a friend that would pray sit and pray with you first listen then sit and pray with you but when they're all gone he is still there he is worthy to be praised right
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, praise team. Only God is only, only he is worthy, only he is wonderful. Let's stand for a call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, Lord. I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth sing his praises. And we will sing his praises by singing hymn 226, Amazing Grace, and it is printed in your bulletin. And I'm going to ask him if Reverend Lester could just leave that for me, please.
to the time in the service where we are going to just ask God to be with us and ask God to come into our hearts um, for today. I will do the opening prayer on behalf of uh, Sister Patience. Uh, oh, Sister Patience is here. She is prepared. We are doing double duty today. We're doing Sunday school and worship service. Bow our heads and pray. Oh Lord God, our Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, because you counted us worthy to be among the living souls, Lord. We thank you that we know you as our one and only true God. Father God, we adore your name. We glorify you, Lord. It is by your will that we are here, that we are alive and we are healthy today. We thank you that you have given us this opportunity, Lord, the grace to converge here this morning. Some of us here in person, some of us over Zoom and over Facebook, Lord. Lord, you promised us that where two or three are gathered in your name, Lord, you are there with us. Father, we are gathered here today to praise and to worship you. Come down, O oh Lord, and fellowship with us. Let your presence be felt in our midst, O oh Lord. Father, you promised us that whenever we call upon your name, you will answer us with your presence, Lord. Come into our midst, O oh Father. Let your Holy Spirit flow. Fellowship with us. Visit us today with your overwhelming presence, Father. As we touch this worship service, Lord, be with us from beginning to the end, Lord. Let us praise and worship you. Let us glorify your name, O oh Lord. Father, we pray for your faithful servant, our Reverend Lester Willis, who will be bringing us the word today. Lord God, use him to impart a powerful word today. Let it be a word that will bring about an overflow of your blessings, Lord. Let it bring about healing, Lord, to those who are not well. Let it bring about peace, Lord, and joy, Father, to those who are troubled and to those who are lonely. We come together in unity of faith, oh Father. Let everything that we declare in this meeting, in this service, Lord, we bind in this service, let it be bound in heaven, Father. And everything that we loose, Lord, let it be loosed in heaven. We pray, Father, today that you will meet each and every one of us, Lord, at the point of our need. And that we will all go home refreshed and filled with your peace and the joy from your presence, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you always hear us. May you always answer our praise. We give this all to you, Lord, in your mighty and matchless name. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, before uh, Brother Jeremiah comes with a selection, I want to take this time to welcome each and every one of you to service today. We are glad you're here. We are glad you joined us today in person, on Facebook, on Zoom, and we just want you to feel welcome. May God bless you. May God keep you. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Kenesha Blake Newell, and our ministerial team, um, we and the members of the Elizabeth Ackley Women's Missionary Society and the General Congregation of Grant AME Church in Toronto, we welcome you. May you be blessed leaving this service even more than when you started this service. Thank you. We're now going to hear from Brother Jeremiah. And this will be followed by our tithes and offerings uh, done by uh, Brother Chris. I'm glad this morning that I serve a God that can take me through whatever comes my way. Whatever comes my way through it all I've had many tears and sorrows I've had questions for tomorrows there's been times I didn't know right from wrong but in every situation God gave me special consolation that trials come to only make me strong Ooh, through it all through it all I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Whoa, through it all. Mm -hmm. Through it all. I've learned to depend upon God's word. See, I thank him for the valleys. I thank him for the mountains. I thank him for all his brought me through. For if I never had a problem, I'd never know that God can solve them. I'd never know what faith in God can do. Oh, I thank God for the mountains. I thank God for the valleys. I thank Him for the things He brought me through. Hey, cause if I never had a problem, I never know that God can solve them. I never know that faith. In God can do yeah, through it all. Through it all. Lord, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in God. Yeah, through it all.
have to depend upon God. Wait, oh Lord, yeah, I've learned to depend on God. I've learned to depend upon God's word. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Amen for God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. It's giving time, folks. A time that we have an opportunity to give back to God just a little of what he's blessed us with. There are a few ways in which you can give. Uh, one of them is an e-transfer, and the address to do that is grant at gmail.com. You can go to our website and donate through Tithely at www.grantame.com. Or you can mail your checks to the church. Or if you so desire, you can come to the church on Tuesdays and Thursdays between noon and 5 p.m. and give them in person. We'd like to thank those of you who have been so faithful in continuing your giving through your tithes and offerings. It's only through your faithfulness that we are here today, that the lights are on in the church and we have a little bit of heat. Amen. So thank you. I'd like to direct the ushers at this time to come forward as we give our tithes and our offerings. Would you be free from the burdens of sin? There is power in the blood. victory win. There is wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and Wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonderful power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful power in the blood. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen, amen. There is power in the blood. Let's stretch your, stretch your hands forth to the offering as we bless what we've received this week. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. For putting clothes on our back and a desire in our heart to seek you out today. Father, we just ask that you bless the offerings we have received this week. Put them to use in building your kingdom, Father God. Increase the givings. These things we ask in the name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All 
things come of me, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. Okay, at um, this point, we are at um, the sermon, and today our preacher for the hour will be none other than our very, none other than our very own Reverend Lester Willis. He's prayed up and prepared to deliver a word from on high. And so after the sermonic selection by the praise team, you're going to hear from Reverend Lester Willis. And he, after that, we're going to have the announcements. And at that point, after the call to discipleship and prayer, we're going to ask Sister Elvire. Uh, she will um, take over from me and do the announcements. As I had said earlier, we're doing double duty, so I have to go back to my Sunday school duties um, after this. So thank you and the praise team and then Reverend Lester. Hallelujah.
be where you are. I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I got to be where Come on, we can do a little better than that, church. I know we can do a little better than that this morning, church. There's only a few of us in here, but I know we can do a little better than that, church. We can praise the Lord in this place this morning. I don't know about you, but I got a reason to praise the Lord. Woke me up this morning. I got a reason to praise the Lord. My, my, my. We have a guest with us this morning. Oh, Shane Duncan. Stand up, young man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He is the son of Yvette Duncan, one of our members here. We welcome you. May God continue to shine his face upon you. Enjoy the service and be blessed, young man. Thank you for joining us this morning. Ah, first of all, let me go to the throne of grace. So let us, every head bowed and every eye closed, and let's, let's pray. Most gracious and eternal Father, come before you this morning, Lord Jesus, a sinner, Heavenly Father, hard-pressed. Heavenly Father, the beginning of 2022 has been a tough few weeks for me, God. It's been a rough few weeks for me, God. But Lord Jesus, through it all, through it all, I continue to turn my faith unto you, God. I continue to turn to you, the author and the finisher of my race, God. So God, I pray right now, God, that you would hide me behind the sacred desk, God, that I might not be seen or heard, that you might be seen and heard through me this morning, Heavenly Father. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, be acceptable in thy sight, Lord, for you and you alone are my rock and you are my redeemer. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, and we'll give you and you alone all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray this morning. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm just going to ask the praise team to come on back up for one minute, and Brother Jeremiah, come on up here and join me. I don't know about you, but my hallelujahs belong to God this morning. I'm so emotional right now. I, I, I was on my way in this morning and, and I called Brother Henson. I said, you know what? The Holy Spirit is speaking to me as I'm driving. And he's telling me that I need to give him glory this morning. My hallelujah has to belong to God because
and I said, it's been a tough few, few weeks. And the road looks like it's going to be a little tougher for me. But as I always say, oh, but God. Oh, but God. Ah. <clears throat> My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you, oh Lord. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve Belongs 
to you. Come on, church, give God some praise. Give God some praise in this place. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you see me like this, church, when you see me emotional like this, you know that I've been, I've been through and I'm going through a little something, something. But you know what that does for me? That makes me genuine. I'm not ashamed to cry. Because I got a, I, I know a gentleman who's a healer. I got a father who's a healer. I have a father who's a healer. And I'm trying to waste some time this morning because I got a sermon, for, I got a word from on high from you, for you this morning. And this word's been brewing, brewing for a little while. And I, all I know that God told me to tell you about me this morning. I got a reason to praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I got a reason to praise the Lord. Psalms 113, not 13, Psalms 113 reads, Praise the Lord, O you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is, unto, who is like unto the Lord our God who dwells on high? Who humbles himself to be Hold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dung that he may set him with princess, even with the prince of his people. He makes the barren woman to keep house and to be joyful mother of children. Praise be to the Lord. The word of God for God's people this morning. I'm not gonna keep you long. You guys, most of you know who I am. And Miss Sparks, if you're watching, you know who I am. You know how I am. <laughs> I don't keep you out too long. But I got a word. Christianity has its challenges. It places demands on us that sets us apart from the rest of the world. The Bible calls us a peculiar people who navigates the challenges of living in the world without being of the world. When we say no to temptation that are enjoyed by the masses, we are labeled as self-righteous snubs. Come on, stay with me now. Religious weirdos, that's what they call us. Or even worse, sometimes. Yeah, they call us some serious names. Nevertheless, we preserve and press toward that invisible line the Apostle Paul drew in the sand of time for the high calling in Christ Jesus. All of us have encountered someone in our lifetime, a family member, a coworker or a neighbor, or an acquaintance who asks us why. Why do we pour all our talents, time, and money, and all of our services in church? I want to stick a tack in that for right there for a minute. I'm going to stick a tack in that. I don't know about you, but I've, I've had family members say to me, I don't know what you're doing down there at that church, Lester. I don't know what you're doing down there. Ain't nobody down there, especially now, but I had it when the church used to be full. When this place used to be full, people would say to me, 
Oh my God, that's, I don't know what you're doing down there. You know, trying to deter me from my walk with Christ. After knowing, knowingly knowing where I come from. After knowing my journey, where God has brought me from. Knowing that I am a recovering drug addict alcoholic. Knowing that my life was in turmoil, just a few training, as we say in the program, the program of AA and Cocaine Anonymous, a few training for hours ago, I was a full-fledged junkie. Full-fledged. And out of the 15 siblings, 10 brothers and four sisters, some of them were even getting their black dresses ready for my funeral. But now here I am, God has lifted me up out of the miry clay and planted my feet on solid ground. Okay, where they should be proud because mama, when I say mama, I'm talking about Pauline Willis, our mother always taught us about Jesus Christ and that there's always an opportunity to turn around. We, that was instilling us as, a, as kids. But here, I still got some of my siblings saying that to me. Family members, what are you doing down in that church? <laughs> you know, they make an argument that we cannot see Jesus, hear Jesus, and we cannot receive anything from Jesus. So why do we serve him? And of course, we make the encounter argument that we do indeed see him <laughs> with our spiritual eyes. We do indeed hear him and we hear his voice, not with our ears, but with our hearts. And we do indeed receive the daily gifts of his guidance as our deliverer. I got a reason to praise the Lord. I got a reason to praise God, church. However, Many scoff and simply turn away. I don't know about you, but I got a reason to praise the Lord. I have hit some low points in my life. Thought I would never make it. Oh, but God. Left for dead. Oh, but God. Lost all sense of direction. Oh, but God. Lost in a world of drugs and alcohol. Oh, but God, if God has brought me to anything, I have a reason to praise to God. Do you have a reason to praise God this morning, church? We praise God because he is supreme. He was and is and forever will be the beginning and the end. David said his best in Psalm 34, 2, 3, my soul shall make its boast in the Lord. Hmm? The humble shall hear it of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Church, let us exalt the name of Christ together this morning. Those of you watching on Zoom, on Facebook, let us exalt the name of the Lord together this morning. In addition, it goes on to say, In verse four, I thought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. David had a reason, David had a reason to praise God. God brought him out of some tight spots. We all remember David. Has God brought you out of anything? Has he brought you out of anything? Huh? Maybe about with cancer? Praise him. A relationship gone bad? Praise him. Loss of a loved one? Praise him anyway. Loss of a job? Praise him. Depression? Praise him. Has he done anything? If he has, you should have a reason to praise God. See, when, see, when we get mixed up with bad company, 
the saved and the unsaved. That's a bad combination. So I can't hang out with the boys on the corner anymore. <laughs> Praise God. Can't go to the places I used to go anymore. Can't do the things I used to do anymore. But today is just us, the saints of God. If you are like me, after being rejected all week, oh Lord, by the world, you need to recharge of your spiritual battery. So let us recharge our spirit by linking up with the one and only God, our savior who loved us so much that he gave his only son for a reason to die on Calvary's cross for us. And that reason being so that we would have life abundantly. I have a reason to praise God. I don't know about you. I have a reason to praise him, the God of my salvation. We are born of his breath, fashioned in his likeliness, tended by his love and pointed towards his glory. Do you believe that? Do you believe that church? There's a few of us in here, but we can make some noise in this place this morning, if you truly believe it. If you truly believe it. However, the Lord did not stop there. When men fell from grace and succumbed to sin, his everlasting, ever inclusive, all encompassing, all embracing love destroyed any chance of us ever having his love. But by injecting man's soul with forgiveness and hope through the blood of Jesus Christ, we are, <laughs> my, 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 we are redeemed by his grace, forgiven by his mercy, and sanctified by his spirit. In addition, we are now saved through his salvation, adopted into his family, and sheltered in his loving arms. The Lord is supreme. He is our one, true, and living God. The Lord is our benefactor. He make us to lie down in green pastures. Hallelujah. The Lord is our creator. He fashioned us in his own image. The motive for our praise is to believe in Christ. The rest of our praise is to trust in Christ. The wisdom for our praise is to learn from Christ. The joy of our praise is to obey Christ. And the hope of our praise is to look for Christ. Anybody looking for Christ this morning? I know. I know I am. Christ is a jewel of God's creation. Wow. We are calmed through his peace, strengthened through his power, encouraged through his promises, refreshed through his glory, assured through his voice, and sustained through his touch. I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Do you? If you have a reason to praise the Lord, and I know ain't too many people sitting beside you, but look at, look at your neighbor and say, I got a reason to praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor, even if you're at home, Yell upstairs, or wherever you're set to tell your husband or your wife, whatever. I got a reason to praise the Lord. Make some noise in your house this morning. I got a reason to praise the Lord. We don't have everything that we want, but we the one thing that we do need, we have. And that's the breath of life. We can breathe the breath of life this morning and know that someone other than ourselves woke us up this morning. We can look back over our lives and say, I didn't do this. God did this. I would not think of myself that high or that mighty to think that I did this. 
I don't have that kind of power. But there is one who has all power. And that one is Jesus Christ. Mm. What a God. What a mighty God we serve. So I came in here this morning all frustrated and all, my God, just feeling in a way, feeling in a way that, you know, my back is killing me. So much uncertainty at work. I don't know if I'm going to have a job by next week. And that's fine. I'm still a young man. I can, I can work. I got no problem getting a job. You know, I came out of the streets and got a job. <laughs> After so many years of telling my wife, oh, ain't no jobs out there. <laughs> ain't no jobs out there, honey. You know, you got to get a job, Lester. Ain't no jobs out there. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, I come out of the streets and I found a job and kept that job for the past 25 years. You know, I, my father, thank you, Jimmy Willis, for instilling hard work ethics in me and all of my siblings. We all know what a hard day the work means. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I get dirty. Oh, but God. Oh, but God, I got a reason to praise the Lord this morning. I don't know about you. We got to tell somebody of God's goodness. Tell somebody what he has done for you. Tell them that God has brought you through a mighty storm. Tell somebody about his grace and his mercy. Tell them that you have a reason to praise the Lord. Don't be ashamed. I walked into Starbucks this morning and uh, one of the TTC drivers was in front of me and, and so he, hold, he held the door for me. Thank you, young man, I appreciate it. And I, how you doing? And he said, I'm well. And I always wait for people to say to me, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I said to him, I'm blessed, young man. He looked at me, see me with the, with, you know, dressed up or whatever. I said, I'm on my way to go and praise the Lord right now. I'm blessed. So one of the servers heard me and she looked at me and every Sunday morning she sees me and she, she knows well, I'm on my way to church. And she, sees, she said, you are such a fresh breath of life, sir. You know what that's telling me? That I can't keep what I have. I can't keep this gift that God has given me, the gift of life, the gift, an opportunity of eternal life to myself. I got to tell somebody. You got to tell somebody, church. You got to tell somebody what God has done for you. You got to tell somebody that you got a reason to praise the Lord. You got to tell somebody that God has lifted you up. You got to tell somebody. You can't keep it to yourself. That is self-centered and selfishness if you keep it to yourself. God is looking for some deliverers. <laughs> now that's another sermon for another day. But he's looking for us to deliver his words to those who are deaf to his word. Amen? And the only, one who, the only ones who can do it is us, his people. His people. My, my, my. I'm almost finished with you. And Mary said, my soul magnified the Lord. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. You'll find that in Luke 1, 46, 47. Praise is the spontaneous response of a grateful child of God in his presence. I got to read that. Let me read that again. Praise is the spontaneous response of a grateful child of God in his presence. The person who knows God and experiences him in intimately sings to the Lord with deepest praise. Mary was overwhelmed by the Lord's goodness to her. Is there anybody here that is overwhelmed and grateful for the Lord? being good to them. 
I remember as a young fella growing up and, and mama would be in the kitchen, uh, Sunday, well, it didn't matter what morning it was, and she'd be singing, and she'd be singing her hymns and humming her hymns. And you know what? When I started to write this sermon, now I know what she was doing. She was giving thanks to the Lord. Now, I, I, now I, now I know we all have some parents or grannies or whatever always sang hymns. In the kitchen, wherever, what they always hummed the, hum the old hymn, even if they couldn't sing, they, they did their best to make some noise, to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. They did their best to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I know why now. Because the Lord loves our praises. As he loves a cheerful giver, he loves our praises. Can't ask for anything more than that. I mean, he's not asking for much after what he's done for us. Trying to stop the praise of a thankful heart would be like trying to arrest the flow of a mighty waterfall. <laughs> God created us to praise him. Praise will be our activity when we are gathered around his throne in heaven. So I see, see I had a bunch of uh, uh, aunties and uncles and my grandmother, Mama Susie. You know who she is, Jeremiah. I can see them right now, somewhere around God's throne, singing and praising and worship God right now. Envision your ancestors, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters who are gone, your loved ones that are gone before you this morning. Think about them this morning, with what they're doing right now, somewhere around God's throne, just worshiping God, worshiping God, giving God all the glory for the good thing that he has done for them and for their souls. I don't know about you, but one day I want to be there. I want to be on that number, one of the, one of the old hymns that, do, that, that they used to sing. I want to be on, when the saint goes marching, I want to be in that number. I want to be there. That's the kind of praise we have to have. We have to be praising him right now. I'm not dictating to you what you should be doing or what you shouldn't be doing, but your praise should be spontaneous. And in your workplace, you should be praising him. On the bus, <laughs> you should be praising him. In the gym, you should be praising him. Wherever you go, you should be praising the Lord. I got a reason to praise the Lord. And don't worry about, or have a fear of being judged because there is only one judge and that one is Jesus Christ himself. You should never have difficulty thinking, thinking of reasons why God deserves your praise. You, you should enjoy the times you have to praise your Lord. But privately and publicly in worship, if your life is not filled with praise, it may be that you have lost your appreciation for God's merciful activities in your life. And that's okay, because it happens to the best of us. A lot of us lose respect for God. And a lot of us sin and fall short of his grace and the grace of God. But what we need to do is to get back to basics and that basics is praising God. See, when we praise God, everything, no matter good or bad, happy or sad, God deserves your praise. I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Never forget what God has saved me from. I got a reason to praise the Lord. Never take for granted what God has brought me through and what it means to have the assurance of eternity with God, I got a reason to praise the Lord. Do not disregard the spiritual kinship you enjoy with other believers. 
I got a reason to praise the Lord. Take time often to recount the blessings he has poured out upon you and your family. I got a reason to praise the Lord. As you contemplate the boldness and the boundless love and mercy God has shown you, you will want to sing his praises as Mary did. Spontaneous praise is authentic praise. It does not have to be manipulated or orchestrated. It is a real and personal expression of a grateful heart and a wonderful filled life that has encountered our holy God. I got a reason to praise the Lord, church. Mm. I got a reason to praise God. When I look at my family, when I look at my children, especially my kids today, I'm so grateful. I almost lost them. I almost lost my family because of the way I was living. My boys, my three boys and my daughter, I almost lost them. But I gotta, I, I gotta tell you today, I'm a father to my children. I step up to the plate. Yeah, I step up to the plate. I'm telling you, I am so grateful. And it's all because of God. I don't, de I don't even deserve it, church. I don't deserve it, church. I really don't. I'm finished here. But I'm just testifying right now. Yeah, I'm testifying right now. I got a reason to praise the Lord. Through all my garbage that I put my wife and my children through, my family, my, my siblings also, because the relationship that we have today is none other than perfect. Now, I mean, we have our crawls. We butt heads. Yeah, we butt heads. Most families do. But for the most part, that same Brother Lester who was messed up, now when they need advice, they call him. And I'm able to give them advice today. Yeah. When their children are going through some, a little something, you know, starting to dabble in drugs and, and, and alcohol and getting out of hand, they call Uncle Lester. Yeah. And I am so grateful. I'm so grateful today that God has put me in a position to be able to be helpful and to be there for others today. Not only my children, for, but for anybody else's child also. That's my job is to help those who are in need of help. No, I don't have no certificate. <laughs> I'm not qualified <laughs> to talk to them. Maybe not. But I've been, I got enough knowledge to know that uh, I can talk to people. After 27 years clean and sober, I got enough knowledge to know that I can deal with young people today. I know the approach. I got a reason to praise the Lord. So if you're here today, and you know that you haven't been giving God the praise that he so rightfully deserved, if you're listening on, Zoom, on YouTube, on your iPhones, wherever you are this morning, if you've joined in with us here at Grant, and you know that you know that you know that you haven't been giving God the time that he deserves, take a little time today. Think about where God has brought you from. Think about what God has done for you. Even in the midst of your trials and tribulation right now. Think about what God has done for you. And most importantly, know what he will bring you through. He will bring you through. Without a doubt, the Lord will bring you through. The doors of the church is open right now. You don't need to come to the altar. 
You can sit right where you are. Bow your heads with me. Close your eyes this morning and just think back over your life. Just think about a time that you, when you were in need, when you were in need of God's love and of God's help and, and he came through for you. He brought you through. Think about what he's bringing you through right now. Don't lose hope. Know that God is a gracious God. He's an everlasting God. He's a loving God. Put your hope in Jesus Christ. He's a healer. He's the sustainer of life. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and shining star. He promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. Just let him in this morning. Let God in. And if there's one who, have never, who has never given their life to Christ this morning, we're here to help. We're here to let you know that Christ is never going to judge you. He's just going to love you. So Lord, have your way with us this morning. Give us that peace that passes all understanding, God. Heavenly Father, you said to take your yoke, for your yoke is easy. God, we need your yoke this morning, Heavenly Father. Somebody just needs a touch of your garment right now, God. Somebody needs healing, God. Heal them in, as only you can, Lord Jesus. Cover them in your precious blood this morning. Heavenly Father, have thine own way. God, for those who are who have second thoughts, God, who, who are uncertain. Heavenly Father, remove that doubt. Remove that uncertainty, God. Let them see you and you alone, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your presence here this morning. Thank you for your grace and your mercy this morning. Thank you for your love. Heavenly Father, we thank you for watching over our family members, each and every one of them. Those who are sick right now, God, in the hospitals, God. Those who are out on the streets right now in this weather, God. We pray for them right now, God, also. Heavenly Father, we are not selfish this morning. We pray for those in need, God. The next drug addict, alcoholic. We pray for them this morning, Heavenly Father. We pray your love and kindness all over them this morning. We pray that you would bless them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. In the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Have thine own way, Lord Jesus. Have thine own way. And we will continue, God, continue to bless your holy name. We will bless your holy name. I got a reason to praise the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, God. God's good glory because as the preacher said that we have anything we have things to thanks God so let us thanks and make a joyful noise for all what God has done for us come on the, the psalmist said that let everything that I've bred to praise the Lord so you have bread this morning so you wake up you are right in your clothes minded 
please let us stand up and praise God and give God the glory. Come on, let us shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all what you have done for us. We are so grateful. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Come on, church, let's praise the Lord. Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him with your voice. Praise him with all your being. And thank God. Thank you, brothers and sisters. And I want to thank you, but a Reverend Willis, for giving us that message to remind us that all of us are short part of the glory of God. All of us need God redemption. And all of us need to praise God for all that we have done. So we have the reason to say thank you, Lord, and praise him. Thank you so much, Reverend Willis. Okay, you may be seated. And uh, now we're going to have the announcement from the church. And I'm... God in his word said that we have to rejoice with all those who rejoice and mourn with all those that are mourning. And as well as to pray and support one another. So we have special request for members and friends. Uh, we have uh, Sister Monique Simons and family. The Kane and Willis families, as they mourn the loved one by her old, uh, old Lee Marion Kane, who was fatally shot in the crossfire and killing Nova Scotia. Pray for those families. Sick and not well. We are calling on the healing gods for Sister Jalisha Jones, Sister Chris Alexander. Shirley Hunter, Susan Bennett, Suan Pinock, Sister Gloria Browning, Sister Lauren Doney, the Von Atzigen family, as well as Bonds Murley. And also for those who are among us who are not feeling well. So let us pray for all, one another. We also have to make connection with our short teams. Patricia Providence, Daisy per Paris, David King, Carol Thibault, Sister Virginia Boys. And we pray for our ministries in the church, stewardship, leaderships in all areas, evangelism, spiritual, spiritual growth and membership, our communities and families. The word of God reminds us not to live by bread alone, so we will have to do fasting and prayer. So we invite you in our fasting service on Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Also to join the prayer line on Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. The dial number is 1-867-292-3030 and the access code is seven zero zero six nine zero one and the pound key so we are giving the number is so for those who are joining us online we have to study the words of god so we're asking you we invite you to join us on wednesdays at seven on zoom to study the words of god that's all we're going to reinforce our faith we also invite you, if you know anybody that is in need of food, so we have the food bank, the, which operates on Fridays from 3.30 to 6 p.m. So join the church and you can call the, uh, at the office. A message from the trustee board, the restocking the kitchen. We are indeed reaping the harvest God has promised to us. To God be all glory. We trust God to continue to provide. The trustee board is asking members and friends to help us get new appliances for our completed renovated commercial kitchen. The Commercial items and appliances needed are as follow. 
hand mixer, blender, pressure cooker, kettle, hot beverage urn, cutting boards, juicer, two dish drainers, toaster oven, dish cloths, large frying pans and saucepans. If you desire to donate toward purchasing appliances, you can do so using the e-transfer, tightly or mail. Please put kitchen appliances in the memo section. And lastly, and the important announcement is to remind you, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Christ is coming back. So let's get ready. Thank you. Amen. And now uh, we are arrived at the end of our service. We are asking the praise team to come and bless us with some songs and following by the benediction, the missionary benediction. So we're going to repeat the missionary benediction because today is missionary day. Thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you, Reverend Willis. What a great word. When I think about, <laughs> when I think about all the good things and you know, all the things that God has done for me, there's so many things, you know, so many reasons to praise Him. The love is all around. How about that? All around, all around, everywhere I look, your love is all around. to be with us today in the sanctuary and on Zoom and the media. So we want to thank the musician. Uh, we want to just give them a word of applause for keeping us on our feet, even though it's cold outside, but we can hear the music and feel the warmth. And we thank you also for the praise team. And we praise everybody, my, my brother, who, uh, brother Brian for the media. And we thank all of you who come this morning. We could stay home, but God, we know that we come for a mission, come for work, 
We want to praise God and we continue to do, do so even though we leave the sanctuary because the God is not limited inside the church. It's all over. Yes. Keep on praising him for the whole week and thanking him for all what he has done for us. So let us repeat, or if you want to sing, the WMN's Visionary Sus. Eh? In the name of the triumph God, let the spirit of Christian mission enter every heart. Let the spirit of Christian mission enter every heart. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed week under the protection of Jesus of the God Almighty. Thank you so much. Hey. Let the kingdom come for the spirit.